what to make for lunch. It's a challenge for many parents and their families. Today we're going to do a tuna salad with a twist. Siva, how do we start? Well, um, I really wanted to make a sort of a, a healthy tuna a salad, but without the mayo. So mm -hmm. what I have done here is um, taken some yogurt, put it through a cheesecloth, so all the liquid comes out of it. So what you're working here is with actually a really thicker yogurt, and it's actually quite lovely to work with. So it gives you the consistency of a mayo. mayo. And what we have here is a chunky white tuna mm -hmm. in water, of course, and it's been um, strained. So there's no oil, so definitely it's uh, much lighter. And basically, I'm just going to add maybe just a, a teaspoon. We can see how the consistency is. I want yes. it to be sort of a little bit more whipped. Mm -hmm. uh, for a crunchy effect, I have some chopped celery. Mm -hmm. Kids go for a crunchy factor. So yeah. anything with texture and uh, absolutely, and it's going to keep the, the form, of course. And I have some grated carrot, mm -hmm. and it's also really colorful too. Yeah. And what I have here is some chopped um, pickle, mm -hmm. gurk. And what I did was I just washed it so all the salt is sort of removed from there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put a, just a little bit of um, seasoning. So I used, um, I'm using a, like, oregano. That's an interesting choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it just gives a really nice aroma. Yeah, it does. And just some fresh pepper. Mm -hmm. And um, just mix it. As you can see. Now, right away, I can tell that because you've strained that yogurt and yeah. you've, you've really drained the tuna nicely, yeah. it doesn't have that liquid uh, factor at all. Which Absolutely. Is, you know, and the last thing you want to do, especially as a, as a parent making lunches for your children, is to have that um, sandwich appear soggy and wet, because I know my kids talk about that from time to time. Absolutely. I mean, you know, the yogurt, if you, if you just use it right out of a jar, you have a lot of liquid in there. I mm. mean, it's quite lovely, but unfortunately for a tuna, and especially if you're going to make the sandwich in the morning, by the time you eat it lunchtime, it's just going to be really liquidy. Mm -hmm. um, you can have this consistency. If you want a little bit more creamy, I would just use just a touch a little bit to bind it all together. Yeah. And that's it. Now, we, what we're going to do is we're going to spread it. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be really nice to put it on a tortilla because, again, it's it's so versatile. Yeah. And it's so easy to sort of pick up and eat it. Mm -hmm. So what I have here is a sort of a, a sun-dried tomato flavor tortilla. Mm -hmm. And, again, you know, it's all about flavor. And what I have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with the romaine lettuce. The reason now, why did you cho choose romaine? Good question. Well, uh, romaine lettuce, of course, is darker green than your normal lettuce. Mm -hmm. And so you want to pick a darkest green um, lettuce so that it's going to get a lot of the nutrients, of course. Yeah. The Canada Food Guide recommends, uh, you know, uh, darker vegetables over uh, normal, you know, iceberg lettuce, for example. Right. Now, most people would just spread it on right away, but you've chosen to put the lettuce on. So that is to make sure that it doesn't go... Exactly. Go through? Yeah, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tuna salad actually on the lettuce and I'm mm -hmm. going to roll it so that when you eat it a few hours later, the liquid doesn't soak through the bread. So it's going to stay soggy. crunchy. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be really nice and it's, mm -hmm. and it's fantastic for a picnic. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put it through the middle. It smells wonderful. Ah. <laughs> and the... Just the texture of it, and again, you said the colors as well, they really jump out at you. Absolutely, and like I said, you know, when, when they have it, um, you know, it's, it's just going to give them the nice crunch factor. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, we, we made a lot of healthy choices here, you know, don't be afraid to put, you know, have, you know, uh, a good healthy serving here. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just hug it a little bit, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, perfect. Mm -hmm. And then... I'm just going to just cut it in an angle. And so, there you go. Well, wow, that looks awesome. Yes. And you can probably stick a toothpick in there if you wanted to as well and serve it as an appetizer. Absolutely. It's a, you know, beautiful as like a pinwheel, so you can cut it in smaller pieces with different color tortillas. Possibilities are endless. Then five simple ingredients for a tuna salad with a twist here on whereparentstalk.com.